Good day students and welcome back to Succeed in Computer Practice with Mr. H and in this tutorial we are continuing with question 4 but we are going to continue with number 5 how to create a pivot table. Now if we read our question create a pivot table with the range C5 to D11 and place the pivot table in cell H4. When the pivot table fields window appear do the following, add the number of days to the report, add the manager field to the report, and filter the report of manager A, B, and F only. And then you print the spreadsheet with the pivot table. So this is a very basic and simple pivot table that we're going to create. But if we go back to question 4's table, remember in the previous tutorial we worked out the number of days, the room size and square meters and the hours and minutes worked. And now we're going to add a pivot table to this document. So, create a pivot table with a range C5 to D11. So that means C5 to D11. So in other words, the section of here, the number of days and the managers. We need to use this range to create a pivot table. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the range. I'm going to click on insert and then pivot table. C5 D11. Do you want do you want this to be in a new sheet? Choose where you want the pivot table report to be placed. Do you want it in a new sheet or the existing worksheet. We want it in the existing worksheet and to be more specific we want it to be in cell H4. So we want it there. All right and then you click O. Okay. The next step is if we go back to our question paper. When the pivot table fields window appear do the following. Add the number of days to the report. All right, the number of days. So we said we only have two headings. Remember, number of days and the manager. So add the number of days to the report. Add the manager field to the report. Manager field. Filter the records of manager A, B, and F only. Filter the report of manager. So I'm going to deselect these managers and I only want the managers of A, B, and F. A, B, and F. Click OK. And that is the pivot table. Very simple, very easy. And basically, anyone can do a pivot table. Just make sure that you follow the instructions and the steps exactly. Thank you, students, for watching. And join me in the next tutorial where we will be discussing question six.